What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install Brother QL 810W so it can work with VIP Shop Management. Uh, step number one, make sure you answer the cartridge. Uh, it has two of them, make sure you answer the red and black. Uh, step number two, uh, turn it on and connect the USB that comes with it to your computer. And make sure the, 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 on, the on light is, is on and the editor light must be off. If the editor light is on, click and hold on the editor light, I think for three seconds or five seconds till it shuts off. So the only light that should be on is the power, power light. Anyway, once you're ready for that, um, if you already tried to install it yourself, um, click on file and then printer setup and then find it find the brother ql and delete it so make sure there's no other printer because that could get confusing for the computer so remove the device yes um once you do that we're gonna go to settings up top and then we're gonna go to all chain sticker settings and we have to download two things the sdk and the installer the sdk it's for VIP shop management. That way VIP shop management can, can communicate with the printer. And after that, we have to download the installer. But we have to start with the SDK. We're gonna click on download SDK. It's gonna bring us to, take us to VIP shop management. I even put in the installer for, for, for brother on our website too. So you don't have to go there anymore. So there's right there, it's number one and number two. We're gonna start with number one. Click on download, click yes. Next, yes, next, 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 finish. So that's number, step number one is done. Now step number two, basically step number two is um, for the printer itself. So we're going to click on download. We're going to open the installer. And you're going to have an auto select button. Make sure, like I said, make sure the, the, the machine is turned on and the USB is connected to the, uh, to the computer. Click auto select. You, if you get this message, that means you might have to disconnect it. That I means something is not working right. Let me try to do it. Because I just deleted it, so it might did something. Like I said, it could get tricky so quickly. Anyway, let's try it again. Auto select. There we go, so it did select it, Brother QL810W, um, click OK, and it's gonna start downloading. So what we need to download, we basically everything except the manual. So basically everything except the manual, unless you want the manual. Um, click OK, click I agree, and basically it's gonna do everything by itself, that's the good news. As long as you get to this page, uh, the printer is going to do everything by itself. It's going to download the driver. It's going to download the touch editor. And, um, and after it downloads, it's going to install them. So just be patient. The wizard. Um, again, I'm only doing the local the connection USB. This is where you're more trickier. The only problem, like I did that one time and then it stopped working and then I just wanted to hang myself. So I'm just gonna stick with the local connection USB. And I, 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 I advise that because anything changes with your network, it won't stop working. I'm gonna click finish. Let's go back, it's not done, it's only installed the driver. Yeah, do not attempt to install the driver by yourself the old-fashioned way. 
this one and it requires everything to be installed uh, with their own installer so don't true that this is you cannot treat this printer as a regular printer because it's not it has different specifications Installing the P Touch editor. Let it finish, do not interrupt. Yeah, tell you to register take you to registration I never do that anyway and then it's gonna finish redirecting finish that's it I click on finish now we go to VIP we close that uh, we're gonna try to print so enter the mileage first uh, usually if you so this is how it works actually if you if you have uh, your your quick button set up to mobile one all change for example in this case you see mobile one all change for synthetic and let's say the mileage is the current mileage in the car is 128,326 and if I click on print it's gonna fill up uh, fill it up automatically it's gonna type in the oil brand and the oil type in the next mileage and we're gonna click on print once you see this popping up and you hear that noise that means it's working and that's how you install the IP shop measure. I wish I could show you the all chickens all change sticker itself, uh, but I can't. I'm doing it in a different way. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.